Question 26. 2x squared minus 8x plus 7 can be written in the form a brackets x minus b brackets all oh, that's that x minus b squared plus c where a b and c are all integers work out the values of a b and c okay so this format is the complete the square format so i know i've got to complete the square it's my completing the square skill and to make it more tricky i've got 2x squared here now i can't have 2x you know plus something all that squared because that would end up with 4x squared so my 2 is outside of this situation and then i've got my completing the square bit now normally with completing the square this would be x minus 4 right because that would then give me x minus when i square that when i square x minus 4 I'll get x squared minus 4x minus 4x, okay, then plus 16. But I'm, I can't do it, but once I times that all by 2, I'll end up with minus 16x. So instead, it's got to be x minus 2. If this is all very tricky to you, the skill is in completing the square, and you can go through the Hegarty Maths work on it, uh, really step by step taking it up to this level of difficulty with completing the square. So x minus 2 squared, and then it's plus something, and I'm not sure what that is yet. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, firstly, I'm going to work out what this 2x minus 2 squared would be. So what this is, is 2 times by x minus 2, x minus 2. That's what I've got here. Okay, so this is the same as 2 times by, and now I'm going to do this FOIL method or, or, or brackets method, or, or, or sorry, grid method, whatever I choose. But I'm going to do FOIL method, so I've got x squared outer minus 2x inner minus 2x last plus 4, careful because minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. So I've got 2 times by x squared minus 4x plus 4, which is the same as, if I do this 2 times by all that, I've got, have I got 2x squared minus 8x plus 8. So it's very, very close to what I'm supposed to be getting at. That's just this, 2x minus 2 squared gets me, to, that is equivalent to this. Right? I've just expanded this situation out, completed the square sort of form, um, and gives me this. But it's not quite that. That's one less. So I have to take one off this. So therefore, it's 2 x minus 2 squared and that would give me 2x squared minus 8x plus 8 I've just shown that that's what that gives me but I want plus 7 so I'm going to take away 1 that then matches up with that and it's now in this correct form so my value of a there is 2 my value of b there careful is 2 the reason it's not minus 2 is because the minus is given here. So that minus is already accounted for. So that is in fact 2. And then my plus c is plus something. But if this was plus minus 1, to get it would be it would have to be minus 1. Plus minus 1 would be is the same as minus 1. If this had minus c, I would write here 1, because the c would be 1. But it, this C has to be minus 1 to make that work. So that's the so that's what A, B, and C are in this case. Again, you can just work through on completing the square. That's it's 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 a difficult, more advanced skill right at the end of the paper here. Okay, but it is a skill you can just work on. There isn't really much problem solving involved with this question. So it's one that you can definitely master, perhaps slightly more easily than the uh, problem solving questions even though the level of skill is advanced.